This is the School of Flower Design today, and this is our project. First, you start by setting your lines. I use branches to set my lines in sort of an oblong sort of U-shaped boat. Then I was talking about this sort of a Dutch Flemish inspired. We often have one type of flower in this design. It's when they didn't have photography and they would paint pictures of flowers and before, so it would record their discoveries. That's why the true Dutch Flemish, you often see only one stem. We have one stargaze or one blue hydrangea. And then I told my students, kind of forget everything I taught you, as if you're painting an old world painting 400 years ago, a little watercolor oil painting. So it's a very loose uh, based design. My next book is going to be shot in Paris. It's all about this style. We have uh, lines that drop below the parallel, which is unusual in my work. Uh, it's just a very loose, spreading, rambling, uh, 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 what's the word I'm thinking of? Briar patch of flowers and materials. It's uh, all the hit and all the rage right now. It's very old world school. Get a little bit of close up on this. You got to find those uh, wild branches. You probably find them on the side of the road as well as at your local wholesaler. Uh, I'm at the San Francisco Flower Market today. They've got fantastic product. Again, I'm probably going to start uh, shooting my book in Paris soon. And it's going to be all about this viney, leafy, old look, old world European look. This is Michael Gaffney from flowerschool101.com and buyflowerpower.com. You can take this class and other classes like it at buyflowerpower.com. Thank you.